Hey guys, it's Carly here, and today I actually will be announcing the hand hand handmade stuffed animal number six. That's right. Actually, I'm gonna have actually the sixth new favorite handmade stuffed animal okay so 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 here's from the info so okay so let me show you who I have so okay handmade stuffed animals okay do you guys from so this right here is Lucy and she's kind of falling apart because she has been loved by me so much and she and does she still work she has like a sound device in her so let me see let me see if she still works okay it works I love you too so actually she still works so she is pretty filthy like because she's been loved like I said before she's been loved by me and I got her for my 12th birthday in 2016 so and by the way if you guys notice I actually have a Lucy the dinosaur shirt on okay so I'm not sure um, if any of my YouTube subscribers or TikTok followers um, are familiar with her I'm pretty sure you have seen her on some of my TikToks and my YouTube videos and some of my past videos from some of my videos over the years, over the four years. So last week actually was my fourth YouTube bursary. And so this here is Lucy. This is Lucy. And she and eh, she's got a tail and her tail's ripping, but She's not stained or anything, but and she lost a little shoe. Yes, I got her. And this right here is not what we're talking about. This here is old news from 2016. Just go over there. Okay, so and then in 2021, last year in 2021. So do you guys remember um let me show you who it is. So, Lucy, I don't want you to join me, but okay. So, do you guys remember um when I had um when I had I think it was a year ago I had this cutie. I actually had I actually had this actually was my first um handmade stuffed number block and this is um, 60, yep, it's 60, cause she's made up of 60 blocks. And she's six by 10, but her, it's fading a little bit, but maybe I could fix that. Maybe I could, maybe I could fix that with a, with a purple, I actually bought a purple fabric marker. Um, basically she loved leaving purple marks on my neck. My mom and my mom actually, and my mom actually thought I, I was bruised up, people being mean to me, but it was her. It was her and I love you. And one of my school crushes, Ryan Harper, anyone ever heard of him? Heard of him? So Ryan Harper actually threw 60 twice in, in the ag department. 
and in the geometry classroom at Frankston High School. And the teacher said, and the geometry teacher said this, Mr. Harper, stop throwing things in my class. Like, that's basically, um, that's basically, because Mr. Harper, um, uh, that goof, that goofy Mr. Harper, that crazy Mr. Harper. All right, that's um 60. And, and then fast forwarding, then fast forwarding again to, to the most, to the most, to the, to the most recent 2022. So this actually was earlier. So here is, um, then I have, um, this, this, this mister here. So, um, this here is, who is this? Is this 26? Like, um, it, it is 26 cause he's made of 26 blocks. And I actually, um, he actually was actually, he actually was one of my, he actually was like my favorite stuffed toy, stuffed animal. Um, from when I was, um, from when I was, um, 17 and three months. I had him, I believe I had him, I actually had him at 17 and three months. So, and yes, he started at my neighbor's house and I had him, I, I, I had him since earlier this year and, and, he, and, he, and he came home with me from my neighbor's house who now has, who now has a pit bull named Linus. Um, yes. Which I'm referring to the Burgett fam- the Burgett family. The Burgett family. And so I'm referring to Miss Burgett. And she- she also just does- she also just does not have a pit bull. She also has a cream tabby named Frito. And, and he looks, and Frito looks very similar to my, um, cream tabby Jax. To my cat Jax, who is also a cream tabby. And there was a time where my dad actually had a comment on his Facebook page. And it was a, it was a picture, it was a picture on his Facebook. It was a photo on his Facebook. And... He, um, and, and it was, it was actually one of the, it was actually a guest on the, the comment actually was from a guest, from a guest from, a guest on, a guest from the American Queen, the steamboat, um, and he actually was saying this, so I'm just gonna leave the bad word out, um, because my parents don't want me cursing on my channel, on my YouTube channel. So here's the comment. So we're actually gonna say the first without the bad word. The orange tabby that the little that the little girl is holding. The orange tabby that the little girl is holding. That is my Sydney. Like, <laughs> yep. The person that I believe that left it left that comment was Bruno Kraus. And like I said before, he was a guest on on a steamboat that my dad worked worked on when I was in elementary school called the American Queen. <laughs> so I'm not sure if I'm not sure if my I'm not sure if I was gonna get a hold of my gonna tell I was gonna ask my dad, um do you, if if my mom or dad, if it was if it was okay to sit to to send Bruno Krause mail, to send him mail, to send mail to Bruno Krause. Okay, so I'm not sure if that would be. I'm not sure, if I'm, but I'm just gonna make sure. But I was gonna address if if I have Bruno Krause's address maybe I could like address an envelope 
an envelope for him on the Cricut with my new return address design. It has updated recently. It has updated. Yep, I have updated it. Okay, so this right here is 26. Right, and then fast forwarding again to earlier of summer, earlier this summer. Actually, it was earlier this summer. It's actually summer this year. And I bet you take a guess, bet you might take a guess of who this is. 50. Um, this, she actually, 50 actually is also one of my, um, TikTok followers, if you guys did not know that. I, I also forgot to mention that 60 is one of my, um, TikTok followers too. And I believe actually, um, I actually did post a picture of 50 with some of my other plush number blocks. These are handmade number blocks plushies. Um, yeah, so... So I actually, um, posted, um, 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 all four of them, like, I actually have four number blocks plushies, plushies. So, 50, I believe, also, also started at the Burgett's house, and she, and it looks a lot like 50. <laughs> Like the, the color scheme, the color, the shade of blue. I get wax in my ears sometimes. So, the shade of blue, the shooting star on her eye. It's super cute. So, and she's not. Um, and I actually, and I actually posted the four, the four, um, the four handmade plush number number blocks stuffed animals I have. Um, I actually, um, actually posted a picture of, and it was, and another, it was another stuffed animal I have. And, um, and I, and somebody actually, um, and a member of the public group on Facebook, Number Blocks fan, actually, um, actually, um, posted, actually shared, reshared, reposted it. And the person actually said, some pillows, some pillows like this for our boy for our boy so yeah it was a comment like yeah I was kind of surprised I was so surprised that I actually saw that <laughs> that um um this actually um that basically um that that their kid that that their kid act that their son that their son act that their kid actually liked number blocks so this is actually the this is actually my one of my out of out of the three my favorite up uh, my favorite stuff three the my favorite handmade stuffed animals um three favorite ones so 26 50 and lucy are the biggest and i, I just use her as a stuffed animal but um but um but when i but when i am um, went to New York when I went to New York over the summer when I went to New York um, when I went to New York City to New York to New York City um, I actually I actually used um 50 as a pillow but mainly I use her as a stuffed animal. And I actually had her in June of 2022. And this one actually is the littlest one. And it's so cute. Like, and yes, this handmade stuffed animal, it's actually about the same, about the same size as 60. And let me show you, it's kind of creepy looking. Well, this one is actually Yep, my eighth period class and my in my from my ju in my junior year of my junior year of high school, um, my eighth period class challenged me. So, so if 
I was saying if they could pick this was back in my junior year, junior year of high school during junior year of high school during the homecoming spirit week by the way I have autism if you guys did not know that I stutter a lot so basically my eighth period they and I actually said, um, if they could pick any school appropriate, any school appropriate math, athlete, mathlete, athlete character or math character, they chose 40. They chose 40 from number blocks. So if you know CBBS or Netflix, you would know 40 from number blocks. And yeah. I actually also had them. Um, I also had them um, also earlier this summer. Back in June. It was back in June of 2022. June of this year. And yes, I love this boy. I mean, he's just, he's just... He's just a little cutie. He's just a handsome boy. And as I was saying, back to, back to the, um, handmade, the new handmade stuffed animal. So right now here in, here, here in, um, here in Arrow States, in East Texas, here in East Texas, me, and two other kids and with me, a 16, a 12 year old and a 16 year old, we are happy, we just, so when we're, um, you know, it's, it's that time of year. It's, it's typically that time of year on the Carly W channel right now. Like I said before, the Carly W channel's um, fourth youtube anniversary was this month. Actually, and was basically, um, I actually have a YouTube anniversary in the summer. And I joined YouTube in 2018, so that makes me, so, so, so that, so that, so that makes my YouTube channel four years old. So in honor of four, uh, of four years on, four years on YouTube. So, so, um, okay, so, remember, so, so, what you saw earlier, um, earlier, pre, earlier in, earlier in this clip, um, you saw, you saw Lucy, you saw 60, you saw 50, you saw 26, and you saw 40. Basically, on that story, um, when, when I'm driving around on that vehicle, on that vehicle I have. Well, you may be wondering, you may be wondering, do I, they're like Carly from the Carly W channel. Do you drive a car? No, I do not have my learner's permit or my driver's license or my full driver's license. My brother, who is 19, my brother, who is 19, pretty sure, you know, if you don't know him, his name is Scampy. He's 19 years old, and he has his full driver's license. And all the kids, all the kids in the Carly W. Channel household are above the age of 10. That's basically, but usually, you may be wondering back to having a, my, having a license, actually for a certain vehicle. People were think, well, like I said before, I do not drive a car. I do not drive a car. I do not drive a truck. I do not drive a car. I do not drive a pickup truck, but, I do drive, I do drive a golf cart, 
which I actually have videos, I have a video posted, I have a video posted on my YouTube channel about, um, about, um, when me, my brother, and my youngest little sister, me, my brother Scampy, and my youngest little sister Moon Dancer Willits, um, if you don't know Moon, if, if you don't know Moon Dancer Willits, if you don't know Moon Dancer Willits, she is obsessed with the British television program that's like number blocks, but except it's about letters. And the show is, she has an obsession with Alpha Blocks. And she has a crush on Alpha Block L. Seriously. Well, I really do not hate Alpha Blocks, but my brother does. And, and what do you think could be wrong with my brother? For liking, I mean, for hating that he hate to claim that he, being an Alpha Blocks hater. Well, yes. I actually have an Alpha Blocks fan in my family that lives in the Carly W. Channel household, and her name's Moon Dancer Willits, like I mentioned before. So, there actually is this clip on my YouTube channel. Um, I will put a link down in the description if you want to go check out that video if you missed it. And it's really funny. It's really funny. And it's actually where um, me and Scampy and Moon Dancer Willits took off on that golf cart of ours. On that golf cart of ours. And the golf cart also belongs to me. To my little sister, my other little sister, who is 16 and is Coco Melon obsessed. Yes. You may be wondering who that is. Pipsqueak Willits. And sorry I mentioned her last name. We usually don't mention her last name due to, because of privacy. But, um, Pipsqueak, Pipsqueak Willits actually is my sister. Yeah, she, I actually have a, I actually, I actually have a, I have a bigger half, I have a bigger sister, bigger half sister. Her name's Angie, and she lives in Austin, Texas, lives in Austin, Texas. And I have a bigger half brother named Sean who lives in Staten Island, New York, who lives in Staten, who lives in New York, live, who lives, who lives in Staten Island, who lives in Staten Island, New York. So, yes. So, and I also have, and I also have two nephews named Tavian and Darius, and they're in their 20s, and I'm their aunt. I'm their aunt. And basically, I'm Aunt Carly. So, Carly. So, Aunt Carly. Yep. And, and, um, and, and all six kids, and all six of the kids, all six kids in, in, in the Carly W. Channel household, they actually, they are, good. they actually, we actually are Sean and Angie's little brothers and little sisters younger brothers and younger sisters so so basically sean and angie have three brothers three little three little brothers they actually have three younger they have three have three little brothers and 
three little and three little sisters. So, so let me tell you. Um, okay, so I have a good question for you guys. Um, do you guys know um, Pipsqueak's um, stuffed dog, Violet? Um, I'm not sure if you know, um, if you know Netflix, if you know Netflix, if you know Netflix kids, you would know Violet. I think it was from, Violet actually was from a, was actually, was actually from a, was actually a, a lavender colored dog that actually was from, that was from, that actually was from, um, that, that was from, from one of the two decades I grew up in, the 2000s and the 2010s. So, it was back in the early 2010s. So, um, it actually, I actually have drawn, like I, I think it was back, um, I think it was back when, I think I was in, I think I was in um, ninth grade when I, when I drew like a, did a, I actually did a, Christmas, I actually did a Christmas drawing of Violet I, um, when I was in ninth grade, and I actually still have that drawing. Um, it's usually, um, usually, um, usually you see it, um, um, right outside my bedroom door, and, which is pretty neat, um, so if you guys, okay, so we are now going to tell you about why me, Pipsqueak, and Moondancer are trying to be, we are trying, we are, why I'm being a cautious driver, typically a certain part of the neighborhood. Typically, my lights are getting hairy, so. Typically, a certain part of the neighborhood, a certain part of our neighborhood, Arrow Estates. So, so the road that we have to be the most careful on around this time of year so this year in 2022, we have, well, Pipsqueak actually was saying that we, that we have to be very careful, that we have to be very careful when we're driving, when we're driving on when we're driving on Mr. and Miss Wilkie's, Mr. and Miss Wilkie's road, Mr. and Miss Wagonar's road, and there actually is one house you need that, um, if you were, if you were gonna come, if you guys were going to come visit our community, if any of you were going to if you were, if you guys were planning on, if you guys were planning on coming to visit our community for a tour of our neighborhood, um, with your, like, like with your friends, your family, or a group, so, basically, see a tour, and we'll show you the house on Mr. and Miss Wagonars, Wagonars Road, Street, and, and Mr. and Miss Wilkie's Street. And in between the Wagonars and the Wilkie's, there's Joy and Pat, who are beekeepers. Yes, I also forgot to mention about the Wagonars. The Wagonars have a two-seater car way different because because you know my parents are are Toyota people that's basically what they are 
So, yes. And I think my, my, um, my, um, me and my siblings, um, golf cart, it's a, it's a, it's a 2003, I think it's a 2003 Yamaha golf cart and it's gas powered and you have to have gas to make it go and it has a cover on the top end and on, and it also, and I also customized it and I also, I also customized it um, using, I think I used like, I'm trying to think what it was. Um, have any of, so have any of you, any of you ever heard of, heard of a cricket, heard of cricket machines, heard of a cricket machine? Like for example, like, like the cricket joy, the cricket maker, the cricket explore air, the cricket explore, the cricket explore air. The Cricut Explorer Air 2, the Cricut Maker 3, and even the Cricut Explorer 3, which is what my little sister has in her craft room. So, so basically, um, Yes. So, any type of cutting machine. So, basically, I actually made, so, some of, some of the things that I made to put on my golf cart, I, I used, I used my Cricut, I used the, used, uh, used my Cricut machine and some stickers we bought. So, so I actually have, I actually have, um, so on, on both sides of my vehicle and on the front, I actually have, um, um, if, is anyone familiar with this, um, with this nonprofit organization called the Commemorative Air Force? Anyone familiar with the Commemorative Air Force? So it's a nonprofit organization I'm actually a cadet. I actually am a cadet. I'm a cadet in. And my dad, not sure what my dad is, but let me show you. I actually have this, um, this bag actually, you know, I actually have seen a picture on, a picture on the internet of Lucy the dinosaur as it was actually like a, it was a 40s like throwback and are you guys familiar um with the phrase um are you guys familiar I actually right now as a teenager I actually am obsessed you want to know who I'm obsessed with yep I am obsessed with Rosie the Riveter yes I I'm obsessed with Rosie the Riveter because I I've seen like Rosie the Riveter parodies like like I saw this one Rosie the Riveter parody that 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 said um we can brew it like and I couldn't stop laughing and I couldn't stop laughing excuse me so I couldn't stop laughing when I saw that parody. And then there was one that had a dinosaur. There was one that had, <laughs> there was a bunch that made me laugh. There was just a bunch that made me laugh so hard. And this is the, this is, this, this is, this is actually, this is the real, this is actually what, this is the actual Rosie the Riveter image. That's, this is what it's supposed to be. It says we can do it. Yes. I just like you. I love using this bag. So, and it's actually bigger than that. Than that. Than that. Um, bag that's also a backpack. Cause I kind of look like I kind of look like the two thousands a little bit. So that is my Rosie the Riveter bag. Anyone ever heard of Rosie the Riveter? Like when, like when the, I don't know how to describe. It. Probably back in the forties. Like when all when all the women when all the women had to work. 
it was either the women or the when all the men or when all the women had to work um okay so basically okay so back to that story so so we actually i actually am gonna have a handmade a new handmade stuffed animal so this actually is the main reason i i have to be i have to be very careful when i'm when i'm driving down mr and miss wagonar's road and mr and miss wilkie's mr and miss wilkie's road yes basically i have to be i'm trying my best to be careful on that on that road because it's that time of year on the carly w channel so you may be wondering you may be wondering do you think i'm you may be wondering you you may be wondering this Carly from the Carly W channel. I'm trying to think. They're like Carly from the Carly W channel. Do you? They're like Carly from the Carly W channel. You have to share the road. You have to share the road with, with people riding their bikes, with people, includes kids. people riding their bikes people walking their dogs basically share the road people riding their bikes i have to share the road with bikes people riding their bikes people walking their dogs cars pickup trucks any type of car any type of pickup truck and other and golf carts and other off-road vehicles. Those are the main, those are the main things. Those are the main, those are, so that's basically what I have to, I, I have to share the road, have to share the road with, and the side of the runway, of the run, and the side of the runway of the neighborhood. So, okay, so, So that information I just gave you, why we have to be careful, why we have to be careful, well, because people are always thinking, Carly, are there dogs chasing after your golf cart? Well, chasing after you and your siblings golf cart? No, we're trying to be careful. We're trying to be careful so no numbats that no numbats take off. I mean, come chase, come chasing after, come chasing after our cart. Come chasing after our golf cart. I'm like, which, that would be chaos. That actually would be chaos. That would be some chaos. And that also, I probably would can more likely consider that Texas comedy. Consider it Texas comedy, comedy. Yep actually East Texas comedy. So basically, stay tuned, stay tuned when I have the new handmade stuffed animal. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. And be sure to subscribe to my to our YouTube channel and click and hit and hit the bell icon and hit the bell icon to be notified when we upload new videos like this one. And if you have any questions, place them place them in the comments and we will try our best to answer them. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.